Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft here on the Foolcraft official server together with Doc. Hope you're having a great Friday. Friday the weekend is ahead, oh yeah. And today we got some really cool stuff. Today we want to play the game of life, yeah. So to be able to play the game of life um, you need cellular blocks, right? A whole lot of them. And I set up a little system here. We're making beetroots, we're making cacti, there's none in there yet. We're making carrots and we're making potatoes. And with that, yeah, we can make the cellular blocks. And I'm pushing them in this ender chest right now. It was a pain in the butt to automate that. I mean, the farmer blocks are cool, you know, the, for, from progressive automation. But dang, that stuff takes time. Okay, here we are. So, I have a little field set up. Oh, why is that? Okay, we're making beetroot here, we're making cacti and carrots and uh, what was the other stuff? Potatoes. Yeah. So, the setup here produces that. I just added that to our other farming setup. And by now, wow, okay, I trampled this. Ah, it's not bad, I can fix it later. The lag here in this area is unbearable by now. I think the constant crop ticking here is a big problem that really made the lag situation here worse. I mean, it's really bad. Um, so yeah, if you set up a crop setup like that, I would highly suggest, you know, put it somewhere, I don't know, far off and have it somewhere chunk loaded or whatever and spread those farms out because this area is, is a pain by now. But um, it's alright, you know, we got our factory up and running, so that's fine. And yeah, down here, where is the entry? I always kind of miss the entrance here. You can play the game of life. Um, I told you about last, uh, last time to create tons of mana with this dandelion thing. Um, but before we do that, we need to look at a clip we recorded a few days ago, which is really cool. Uh, check it out. It's awesome. All right, so we are gathered here today. Oh, Ren should have read that, but Ren ain't here. Ren is, he's never in, in, group, in group events anyway. Ren and Izuma are missing. Izuma is excused and Ren is just, well, Ren dog. But, but uh, today we are introducing something that hopefully will blow everybody fr everybody's freaking minds away because today we are introducing an economy system on Foodcraft. This uh -huh. is gonna be good. Yeah. This is gonna be good. Give oh, me that so, money. Uh, <laughs> what, yeah, what we're gonna do? We we have a print. Uh, we have a print. A set amount of printed cash uh, uh, on Foolcraft right now that I've been given by the server gods to share to you guys. Doc, you're very hungry for money. <laughs> money. So, <laughs> exactly. hey, nothing new. Oh, nothing give me, give me, give me. Everybody, <laughs> come down and collect your wallet. You will get a wallet. In I now didn't this get it. wallet. Where's my wallet? Hand it Where's over. Where's my wallet? Oh, oh, oh. Why is there that? cobble poop on the ground? <laughs> my inventory was full. He's trying, Give me he's money. To scam. <laughs> Looks he's like to we scam. need a street sweeper. <laughs> oh, no, we do for sure. Okay, stre stress it. Take Thank that. You. Take that. Uh, beat ups. There you go. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Okay, it's gone. Well, mine's got one All right. missing. I don't have this wallet. Take it back. Oh, I'm ready. Good. We got Here's some fat stacks in here. Money, give me money. I have no money. I'm not kidding Was you. Was it the wrong color? Well, it is a dirty, ugly color. No! Oh, <laughs> don't stole it. Okay. No, oh, I, I don't have it. it. He I, actually I doesn't have, have one. <laughs> he actually <laughs> doesn't have one. Hey, oh, no, that one's the one with nothing in it. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> there comes money out. Ah. There comes oh. money out. Well, she said she was missing a stack. Did I just get bamboozled already? <laughs> <all in? laughs> Who's who's missing a wallet right now? There you go. There you go. There's the missing stack of money. B dubs that ah. in the whole time. No, so. yeah. oh, Do you man. have that extra? Is that extra? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That one, oh, never one mind I that I spent my time getting this money exact, okay? <laughs> How much should it be? Understand. How much should it be? The that there should be 20 stacks. Two rolls plus two. Yeah. We're no, good. I'm missing one. Oh, okay. One stack. Okay, here. There you go. There's a stack. Okay. So Fantastic. Are we You're good? There you the go. I, I got two, my, two more wallets there for Izuma and for Ram. So here's the thing, guys. We have printed up 
exactly 20 stacks of uh, freaking dollars <laughs> to to uh, to to each member and that is 2180 uh, bucks sounded American and everything. Wow, <laughs> two hundred and eighty dollars <laughs> each. Now, <clears throat> that's never gonna change. We're never gonna inject money into the system, which which makes for a very interesting uh, effect. Hopefully, you you kind of have to earn your money either by being a a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> like someone suggested earlier, or, or or by having a sweet shop, which is much more I know what my next shop's yeah. gonna be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, my God. No. That was kind of weird that I God. said, oh, yeah. He, he says that he's by the pole. <laughs> Slide down on that, please. Slide down. <laughs> Make it rain, Scar! Make oh, it rain! Oh, my God! Money is oh, pouring out! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, man, I kind of want skills. that back. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no refunds. So, so Scott, uh, how, how are we going to avoid counterfeit? You know, I just picture somebody's got a sneaky basement, they got a machine, they got smoke coming out of it. How are we, how we going to protect from that? These are uncraftable. Hold on, let me actually DOP oh. Exuma. Um, <laughs> there, there we go. There, there we go. They, they use the old. Okay, so yeah, these are uncraftable. You cannot craft them. So Ooh. we should be good. We should be really. You good. know what is craftable? Go that on. fake garbage is co is coin. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yes. Very good point. Finally, someone takes my side on die right made money. <laughs> die mm -hmm. right made. My, my money. shop. My shop will accept both currencies. I'm international. Oh, brother. Mm. Oh, brother. Ah, okay, says the guy with says the only guy without a building. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> there was no reason for me to make one without See being you next year. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Man. That's your that's your Shefton music. <laughs> it's Chieftain. Oh. You know, I'm Jesus. the guy that's gonna provide food. Makes food. You know, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't mess with the guy that makes you food. Yeah. They might spit in it. Just yeah, saying. That's true. <laughs> that, that is okay, that the fair fair point. That's disgusting, though. Your food so, is gonna uh, make. The... Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> I'm not talking okay. to you. <laughs> and the war goes on <laughs> freaking bubble man so the thing is I'm, I'm heading I'm slowly like trying to reverse oh, back okay. here oh, hi. To, oh, lead okay. you guys, <laughs> yeah. to lead you guys yeah. over to the beautiful signs so what we have agreed on the server is um, we're gonna we're gonna try and make it so that certain things you are not allowed to craft if someone else is running a shop for it Food. just to kind of force that uh, uh, yeah yeah guns okay we got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it. You're going to sell German sausages. Good luck. Okay? Yep. Yep. Fantastic. The I'm best German sausages. Big. Mm, uh -huh. Bratwurst. Juicy. <laughs> Meaty. Yeah, Did go I... ahead. <laughs> getting a bit, getting feeling a bit sick over here. What? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, so the way we're going to do this, you're allowed to run any shop. But if you, if you take any of the shops that have been suggested, by our viewers, namely Dr. Rainfall. Thank you, Dr. Rainfall, for creating this service guide. <laughs> oh, silly <and> baby. Uh, <clears throat> what's funny? It's his Dr. Name. Rainfall is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's his name. I love like it so much. Dr. Rainfall. Screw, screw you, beat us. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you select to do any of the shops suggested here, which you're encouraged to do. Uh, I, for example, run a electric electric company, and, and I, yeah, and you. And oh. <clears throat> if you if you run any of the shops or services that are on these boards, then you are able to charge for it, and no one else can craft the material you're creating. Is this making any sense? I kind of feel yes, like a good. question. Yes. Question. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. There in the front of the classroom, is there anyone else that has questions? Anyone else? No way, anyone yes, else? Oh, okay. To the to the ugly guy in the back. Yeah. Go on. Yes. Right. It's <laughs> just the antlers. So. And the I would like to open a post office. <laughs> would that mean color. that nobody can in-game chat anymore to help what? improve my business? What? <laughs> Uh, uh, 
Is this, uh, this I declare it so. <laughs> no one can in game <laughs> chat any longer, and you will use my stamps to communicate with others. Very fine. Next. Yeah, maybe, maybe we shall wipe this off yes. the list. <laughs> oh my Anybody God, got any just... cotton balls? <laughs> <laughs> I actually have the I have them right here. Have, oh, perfect! It, it, right it comes oh. comes right off. <laughs> no man, I'm wiping my tears. Okay. Oh, very fine. Wait. <laughs> so, yeah. If we oh, use B double O's philosophy on this poster worker, <laughs> if I take the hospital, you guys can't heal without me. Oh, health what? regen off. Health regen off. What? Oh, oh, oh my god. Yeah. I'm sorry. You yeah, need to have Scar standing near Look you. Look what you've heal. done, B double O. Look what you've opened. You've opened a can of I... rooms here. I like this. Can I be yeah, there? Yeah, these signs are great. <laughs> oh, Let's make this one down. <laughs> there, better. Oh, we've lost one now. Yep, try Bing. and get that back. Yeah, oh, man, this looks like the 90s when your antenna's acting up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, right. I, I think this is going to be a fantastic idea. I'm very much looking forward to doing some trades. And if you ever run out of money, well, then you really have to <laughs> to, to uh, put on a show, B Dubs. To, oh know, yeah, to, yeah. To, yeah. To yeah I'll back. never be out of money with this booty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, to make it clear, you cannot eat any food out of your bar. <laughs> right. <laughs> Totally what we said, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so that's the deal. All eating oh. has to be bought food. We agreed upon that. I remember that clearly. Back yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that that's fair. All eating must be bought food. Everybody's gonna mm -hmm. run a food store. Everybody's gonna run a food store. Yeah. But nobody's gonna have the best chicken in the world, right? It's true. It's true. Yeah. I could give out examples, but I'm compete? cheap like that. Are we allowed to compete with <laughs> you? You can other? try. You have to. There has to be competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have Otherwise, organic food? monopolies and the whole city goes to ruin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Organic food. You got that, huh? You can try. I, I, feel, I feel kind of sad for opening a freaking pub. I mean, there isn't even... There isn't even... Don't worry, I'm very thirsty. <laughs> the only drinkable thing with beer in the name is root beer. And it gives you one hunger thing. Oh. I'll take it. You sell awesome. crisps and peanuts. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah I suppose. Yeah, maybe hey, french fries, you know, a little bit of finger food. food. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. wait, there we go. Yeah. I'll buy it. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there is another thing as well that I have to announce. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready for something that prior to this recording, you have probably forgot this, so I'm going to shock you a little bit. <clears throat> but I declare that we implement a new play style uh it, it, from starting from uh, this coming this week today when this video goes live unless anyone messes up doc uh, it should be a friday uh -huh. so from from today <laughs> from today spanning till next friday no i'm saying this badly hold on let me rewind okay here we go <laughs> thank you very much oh wow you got a good effect for rewinding i'm, I'm happy to hear that very fine <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. You know, before Take you continue, Ooh, okay, in on. Germany, what, what in business it? meetings, we really don't have a way of doing it like them. Like, we could have done this in two minutes, and now we're still here ten minutes later, and you still haven't <laughs> brought your message across. That's why Sweden, yeah, very efficient. Yeah. That's why Sweden this is, why... is nowhere to be seen on the map of successful countries. <laughs> right, oh, Take that. No, number, number two that was in the fine. world. For, for BMP. Mm -hmm. But hey, hey, this is why whenever I go to Berlin, I see the happiest people in the world. Not. They all look so freaking tired and this. Yeah. <laughs> because you're anyway. busy. Yeah, because you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's the thing, guys. Go okay, score. Score. Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about IKEA, but I'm good. It's fine. I'm good. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fools, anything you want to say, Fools? No, no, I'm good. No? The beat She's just blinking. No, I'm fine. You're fine? Stress? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the thing, okay? <laughs> Take number eight. Here we go. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some... <laughs> what? Oh, nothing, sighing. nothing. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, so here we go. Let's try again, shall we? Never mind that I'm super ill, I can barely talk. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy that you live in your okay. bubble. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Every week, we're going to introduce something we call the, the 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 governor, which sounds kind of boring. Can you say it, please, Dress? How are you doing, governor? Please try it. <laughs> governor. <laughs> governor. <laughs> Hello, governor. Hello, governor. So we're going to introduce something we call governor. And uh, oh what God. this what this thing is, this may sound complicated, but it's actually very simple. Every week, uh, with a break point on Fridays, every member, uh, uh, one member per week, gets to be the governor of the server. The governor per, for the server gets to set a rule for that week. Something that he or she has to uh, force us on to everybody else. Something we have to do, something we have to restrain from, something we are are not allowed to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and of course, you know, it shouldn't impact the general overall building and stuff, but it should be something that you have to think about that week. So uh, did you guys remember that we discussed this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep, sounds <laughs> like a real dictator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be the governor. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. Absolutely. So I I hear by name as the as the as the first person uh, I'm not gonna be the governor for the first week. B dubs, you'll take the hat for the week number one ah! and you choose uh, you choose who you will pass it on to for next week. An example rule, for example, could be that you're not allowed to with die right this week. Fantastic! Sounds great. Is that going to be the rule? I did not choose such things. Hold Z. on. Mm -mm. This girl's persecuting me because he knows I'm, it's going to be something cat related. So he's not yes. going to pick me. Yes. I know no, there's gonna a conspiracy you. afoot here. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to be over here. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. It's fine. And, and the old governor then names the new governor, right? That's how we play it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. beat ups. You know what you got to do, right? I named no. Doc M seventy seven as governor. Did I do no, it right? Conspiracy. Yes. No, but it's next, it's next week, you fool. Oh, Until I thought then. we were just going around Until naming then. each other. Ooh, <laughs> Until ooh, then, people ooh, get the ooh, opportunity ooh. to throw out money and stuff on top of the gov governor. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I will think of my rule. I will think of it, and, and it's going to really wreck your lives. Just kidding. I'm nice. You're going to love me. <laughs> now, is there Fantastic. a punishment if you fail your uh, task for the week? <clears throat> yeah, but I, I mean, as a governor, you have to school and you have to make sure by maybe getting help from the viewers, you yes. know, uh, to, to make sure to enforce the the rules. So, so for example, beat ups would set a rule, say up, uh, I don't know, b no building with die right this week, for example, good example. Uh, sure. And then falls, falls goes over, she's like, oh, uh, no, actually, uh, this example is better to scar. Scars goes over, he's like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to build a glacier over here. Oh, I'll just put die right on the top. It looks great for a distance. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, <clears throat> now viewer Bob. I will have you know that is the only good use for gla for glaciers. And you know it. You just won't say it. You won't say it aloud, but I know deep nope, inside, nope. deep inside, <laughs> 85. Never. Never, yep. never I will right. use that bird poop as glacier. Then if I build a bird poop thing, then yeah. But, but anyway, the point is that then maybe the viewer Bob who watches Scar's video will go over to beat Who's up Bob? comment section. It's your viewer. I don't know Haven't viewer you seen Bob. him? You don't remember Bob? Yeah, it's Bob Come MC. Bob. Bob uh -oh. MC. Bob MC. Everyone knows Bob. Yeah. Bob, Bob MC 1337 yeah. lead. That yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy. That guy. Yeah. Message oh, I remember. He sees the video, he goes over to Beat Up's <laughs> channel and says, Hey, this guy's breaking the rules, punish him. And if it's ah. true, if Beat Up's can find evidence, Beat Up's is allowed to uh, cast a punishment towards it. So if you're lucky, you can get away with it. You know? That's so they're like the it. marshals of the city here. They're like, you know, the viewers. They're they're kind of the, the watch the, the marshals. Yeah. Yes. yeah, are you sure I you like want to get that it. much power? I like it. Do you want to give? Are you sure you want to give? Get out for you, Bob. Sixty-nine. Yeah. Are you sure you want to give that much power to the viewers? I mean, come on, man. You know how they are. And they're like, uh, sure. 
Yeah, well, if 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 <laughs> evidence can wow. be found, if evidence can be found, you've clearly broken the rule. For example, right, anyway. whenever I get the governor, I'm going to ban any German food production for wow. a week. And 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 if if, wow. if if it happens, still, you know, th th there will be consequences. <laughs> I'm Ducks gonna ban you. Making French fries. I'm gonna ban you for a week. <laughs> can I can a, can a rule also be ban Iskal for a week from the server? Yeah, yeah, All yeah, right. absolutely. If, All you, right. if you think that's fun, and yeah, <laughs> it is for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no I, I see that. That's a, that's a new level of hiding. You're gonna hit me next time. It's gonna ricochet. No. Be very careful, Star. <laughs> Keep your distance. <laughs> Don't worry. I I got a perfect aim. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh. No! That's I've the fifth time you've killed me! It's the fifth time! <laughs> you all saw that. That is so mean! Yeah. <laughs> that was oh. terrible. Oh, oh. I know that, so oh it stings. Oh. <laughs> That's my screenshot. Just too good. Where's the <laughs> there is? Oh, Scar. Oh, look. Now look, there's this ugly he's pink. Is. He's jumping down there. He's trying I to get him. Oh, <laughs> look at the fish out of water. That's my angel. <laughs> <laughs> like a fish out of water. Here you go. Here's some blocks. Uh, there has some blocks. There you go. <laughs> I can't place the block because I didn't do the roads right. Uh, oh, 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 There's some oh, up on the thing. Kay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, um, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, oh, no, no, don't hit me anymore. No, I'm good. I'm oh, good. Oh, okay. Sniped. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're okay, I missed, Hey, I there's a wallet something. up here yeah, in that street lamp. Here. Yeah, that's my money. Somebody just dropped it randomly. Yeah, yeah. There's cat's ears. Oh, I can fly. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Are you trying to steal my wallet? I see how it is. I'm that's sorry, Scarry. It wasn't my intention. No. 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 You just, you just, it's fine. No. It's fine. Just wait till the governor rule falls on me. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I shall. Can we can we adjourn this meeting because ESO uploaded a video and I want to watch it now. <laughs> it's rare these days, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Me Good. Me meeting adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right. So we got a currency, and I'm pretty sure. I put my purse somewhere. Hopefully, I can find my wallet. Where is it? Uh, ah, there it is. That's my wallet. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. One dollar bill from the currency mod. So, we got money now. And that means, um, you heard the rules, you can only eat stuff you buy. So, yeah, I mean, I need to get my dog shop set up as quick as possible. And that is the next project, but I was deep into this Game of Life thing. I want to finish that first, but next episode, I guarantee you, we're going to start making um, our yeah dog shop. And, you know, we should make a lot of money with our decent food we have. And, um, you know, as I told you, the factory is quite laggy, so I'm not sure if I want to... You know, build up, build more stuff there, uh, or I have to would have to completely redesign things, spread it out more. I don't know, but it would be a pain in the butt. But we have like four or five different dishes we can produce, and now we're doing potatoes as well. So I'm pretty sure we could do French fries as well, pretty easily. French fries, French toast. Don't we have fries? Fries. Oh yeah, here we go. Fries, snack. Yeah, salt, potato, bakerware. I mean, that would be very easy to set up, so we can add that easily if we want to. But yeah, today um, it's game of lifetime. And I looked into it a little bit and I found a pretty cool tutorial explaining stuff quite a lot. And there was a kind of an automated setup, which I really liked. Um, so I need to figure out how it worked again, but uh, one thing's for sure, normally you need a 25 diameter playing field for the game of life. Um, the setup this guy found, and I'm, yeah, I'll see if I find the tutorial video again, is smaller. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 to each direction of the flower. And then um, you build your setup in here. Obviously, we want to make this look uh, way better in the end. Uh, but first, I want to look into the functionality and see if we can get it to work. So let me do a few more preparations and then we can do a test run. So 
the setup I found on the internet, and that is supposedly one of the best. Maybe there is even a better one, but this is very efficient. It only uses four of these cellular blocks in the corners in an array like that. And then, you know, you have your mana pool and your dandelion. And if we start the game now, we should see the thing doing all kinds of stuff. See how it multiplies and grows and then grows and grows and it comes to the middle. Jesus Christ, this thing is going crazy. And then it puts a whole lot of mana towards the, the mana pool. Is the mana spreader still? Oh yeah, it's full. Wow, yeah, that's a huge load of mana produced by one of these cycles. And you can make it so it constantly runs. It's pretty cool. Okay, now it's empty. So yeah, that works. Liking that. That is so cool what the game does. Let's set it up one more time. See how see how it spreads and then grows. So yeah, you have to set it up like this. And as I told you, in this uh, nine by nine to each side space. And it's important that you have walls. Without the walls, um, it wouldn't work. And you always rotate, whoop, like so. And then you come over and you rotate again. And then you do the same thing here. Rotate, boom. That's the setup. And then plop the redstone block on there and then let it run. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it does all these crazy formations, man. In the end, yeah, we get a whole lot of stuff moving into the middle and then there's a full elven spreader pretty much. Right, yeah. Even more. Why does the mana pool not update? I feel it should be more full. Normally there should be more. Are we connected here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's check that's empty now. Yeah, and it's connected to the pool upstairs. Yeah, it's pointing in there. It should collect the mana there, but it's not really... Huh. I thought it would be more. Let's see. Maybe something went wrong with the updating or so. Let's do it again. Just to test it. One, two, three. Boom. One, two, three. Boom. And rotate again. One, two, three, boom. Okay, that should be correct. Yep. Let it run again. Okay, it's doing a thing. <laughs> kind of bounces off the wall, you know, and that pushes it towards the middle. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, and we reach the zone, the 3x3 three three around the plant, boom, and then we get another burst here. Aha. Now it updated. I don't know, maybe TPS is low. It's definitely a full elven mana spreader. Time, yeah, there's a huge burst coming. Okay, now it's empty. Okay. Yeah, that's a fun thing to do. All right, and now we pretty much just have to make it so the thing automatically resets and rebuilds itself. So I need to craft a bunch of stuff and um, yeah, then we set it up together. All righty, guys. So we're gonna run this thing using some Botania mechanics. And first of all, let me see. Yes, strain that mana pool in there. So we got some. So we're gonna use the run and cart purse thingies. As you can see, they can place blocks in this radius, right? See the radius here. 
And if they get mana and they are hooked up to this mana pool now, they have a nice big radius. Here we can see that. So what they do is they place blocks, they eat, um, and place them on the same blocks um, that they have below. So here we have this pedal block, or orange pedal block, and here we have them too. So now if we go and let's say toss these blocks at them, they should start placing them. Yeah, see? Fully automatic. And this is uh, what we're gonna use to kind of automate that whole thing. Uh, eat it. Place it there. Nice. And yeah, with some more trickery we can make it so it's fully automatic. It's looping pretty much. Boom. Nice. Alright. Floating running carpus. I mean, you know, Botania has some really, really neat stuff. Is that tablet empty? Yeah. Let's see how much do we get in this pool. Oh, okay, one of those tablets can hold half a mana pool. That's pretty neat. Alright, so this is how we're gonna run this. This is the basic mechanic. Alrighty, guys. So, we're almost done. That system is so cool. I got it whoop, up and running. Yo. Leg spike. Alright, here we go. Just need to do one more thing. This needs to be connected and we need to connect the flower. Let me quickly get in here. Is the flower connected? Yes, okay, it got it. And then we can have a look at it and I can explain to you what's going on in full glory. <laughs> oh man, this is so crazy. I love it. Learned a lot about Botania. So cool. Alright. Here, wait a second. Now, it's gonna emerge to the middle. Boom. And we get a huge burst of mana. And new blocks are sent out and they are placed. It works. Last thing I need to do, and then I'll explain to you what's going on. I need to hook up this chest to our output chest we have going on on the system. So, yeah, let's put that here. And we need some piping. Extract, always active, and here insert. So we pump a whole lot of these blocks in there. Yes! Okay, it's working. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, so. It takes uh, 20 seconds for um, the blocks to come in from the side to the middle and produce a huge burst of mana. And yeah, we have the Gaia mana spreader, that's the best one. And it's filling up our mana pool here. And yeah, what happens is I, I explained to you how the Run and Carpus work, right? They place blocks on the outside. Um, yeah, whenever they have the same block um, that they have below, right here, right? You see that. So that's how that works. This thing is definitely causing a bit of lag because a lot of stuff is going on. So what we do then, we use these, um, how it is called, oh, corporea funnels and now I picked up the blocks, which was bad. Hopefully the flowers can pick them up in time. Yeah, they did. And these corporea funnels grab, they, yeah, it's pretty much to use um, you can use it um, in combination with sparks to combine inventories. So we have a spark on top here, a corporea spark. And there's one corporea spark on this chest here too. And a master corporea spark. So that means this is the master chest. And all inventories hooked up to that um, are linked. So in here we have all these um, blocks we can use, you know, the, the cell blocks. And whenever these um, corporea funnels get a redstone pulse, um, they activate. So as they are connected via the sparks, they grab the cellular blocks. You have to define that here by putting an item frame on the corporea funnel and it depends how often you rotate the item in the item frames, how many it grabs. One, or basic position is grab only one item, rotate it once is two, four, eight. So we have that clicked three times, so it always grabs eight items. And yeah, then we have an hourglass here with uh, 21 sand in there. And every 21 seconds, the whole system triggers. So 
that's a full cycle, so let's observe it. Boom. Hourglass triggers, the redstone pulls gets pulled up by this uh, redstone block gets pulled up by this um, one tick generator here. It's just, you know, short pulse. And um, yeah, it sends a pulse into the funnels. Then the funnels get activated by this pulse, pull blocks from the inventory via the sparks, and then the, the plants suck up these blocks and place them immediately. Then, after 21 seconds, the block gets pushed down, the funnels are shut off, but the plant is shut on. Right? Plant is turned on. And that starts the game. And then we just rotate that through and through and over and over, and it's a, yeah, self containing, fully automatic system. You see? Triggered, we got blocks laying there, the blocks get picked up by the plants, placed, and now another loop starts, system is ready. And as soon as the redstone block goes down, the plant gets activated and sucks up mana. And the mana ends up in this pool here. So yeah. So... <laughs> it's pretty beast. <laughs> now all we have to do is pretty much link this pool um, to another pool and we can drain from there then. And I think we're gonna use mana tablets. Just to use one pool, toss mana tablets in there and then when the mana tablets are full, we suck them up and transport them away. So yeah. Boom. Blocks gets placed and the system is running. Self-contained forever and ever. So I found this setup um, on the internet. Um, some people are super smart with that. I probably would have not been able to figure that out with Botania myself, but yeah, this is how this works and it's really cool. I mean, it's an awesome view how the, how the blocks evolve, like it's, it's really coming to life and then um, yeah, you produce a ton of mana. And yeah, we can run this thing for long times, pretty much all the time, as um, yeah, we produce a lot of these cellular blocks. So we don't have any issues with that. So now we just need to make it look a bit better and uh, figure out a good system to transport mana. But that should be should be no problem. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it so this mana pool is always full. You need mana here because the plants need mana to function, right? Um, otherwise their radius is a bit smaller and you would have to set it up a bit differently if you don't want to use mana for the plants. But this thing's definitely going to produce an excess of mana. And that mana you can definitely funnel out and yeah, use for your own purposes. And we're going to do that, funnel it up to our system and that is yeah, continuously producing really fast mana pool we have going on here now. I mean, let's see. Yep, it's super fast. Compared to what I had going on so far, this is like 20 times faster. And I think... This is one of the most efficient systems um, when it comes to yeah, these, um, the game of life. There's other solutions, but I think this is really fast. I think it's the fastest system um, producing more mana. It's one second faster than anything else I found out, out in the interwebs. But yeah, with that said, um, we have our mana production hooked up. This is going to run. Let's just see if... Um, if we can keep up here, Let's see how much how much uh, we produce. Yeah, I think we should be able to keep up. If not, we crank up, up the production a bit, produce a few more cacti. I would imagine the only bottleneck we have going on here is cacti. Anything else should should have plenty. Yeah, it's cacti. We might have to make another cacti platform. But for now, I mean, this thing is just kicking kicking butt. <laughs> and it uses mainly Botania features. Of course, you could do it differently as well with timers and so on and then just spit some, some items out. But these Coporia funnels are really cool. Oh yeah, and also here it's important to have some, some glass around. I used some mana glass just to make sure the items don't flow, fl uh, fly somewhere, you know, you don't want to. Probably you could also use uh, funnels or other stuff to just drop the items down. But it works like that. And that's a really, really cool setup. So yeah, I'd say that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope um, yeah, you can replicate the setup. It's really cool. I mean, come on. It looks pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit like inducing, I have to say.
let's see what happens with the FPS when this thing starts starts running. We're at 120 now. Let's see if it goes down. Probably it's not even FPS lag. It's uh, probably tick lag because a lot of entities <laughs> get ticked. So I probably want to switch that thing off here and there. Yeah, yeah. FPS drops a, a tiny bit there. It's not that bad though. Man, oh, this is crazy. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching, my friends. Um, see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a lot of likes. And yeah, next time we're gonna start setting up our shop at the city of maybe. I have some design ideas, um, small little diner, and um, we should be rich, right? Bye, guys.